we all know that the hardest trap beats are those Spanish guitar trap beats. And trust me, you know what I'm talking about. And the craziest thing about these beats is you don't actually need to know how to play guitar to make them. So let me show you how to do it. First things first, like no lie, you kind of want a VST that has a guitar sound that is decent. And I'm going to go to my Overgloom Trap Bundle Omnisphere Bank because there is some good guitar sounds in here. Now, one of the most important things to note for these kinds of guitar melodies is you're going to be doing this thing called mode switching. So this is all the notes in the natural D sharp minor scale. And you can switch to different modes of the minor scale by raising the seventh or by raising the seventh and the sixth. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can just right click this music note and just switch to either the minor harmonic mode or the minor melodic mode. Now off the rip, I want to get chords. We can just kind of keep it basic and go like with something like this. All right, we need to change the BPM as well. I'm going to just go down to 120 because I don't know, it sounds better. Like usually these kinds of guitar melodies, they just sound better at like the 120, 130-ish range. Also, it's good to note you probably want to be in like one third beat, one sixth beat. You want to be in some form of triplets. And this kind of becomes important now because we need to strum the chords. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm gonna keep this same kind of vibe. I'm just gonna switch this up and then we'll, we'll do the same kind of thing going forward. I'm gonna bring this a uh, whole octave. It's gonna make sense kind of soon because I wanna render it out and I wanna pitch it down. And I don't really wanna go too, too low. Now we need to throw in like some kind of guitar counter melody thing. It doesn't need to be like the craziest stuff you've ever heard. It just needs to be passable. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy this over because if you don't know what you can do for counter melodies is make like a one or two bar pattern, copy it over and just change up some of the notes. I love that dissonance at the end. Like if you didn't catch that, there's a note being played right here in the other guitar melody. Kind of ends on this nice little dissonance that gets resolved by going back into that first chord. So I'm gonna render out this guitar melody as well now because I wanna work with this one too. So I'm just gonna pop that into track four and we will pitch this down 800 cents as well. By the way, if you didn't know this and you are sampling your own melody, you can press this fade stereo button and it's going to make the melody go from one speaker to the other. Really cool. It's a nice effect. Try it out. Now, the only thing that would make this better is if I made a guitar bus, right? Hear me out. There's a method to this. Slap all of the guitar stuff into the guitar bus. And then we slap some effects on it like RC20. This is going to go crazy. And all I want this for is just like a bit of the detune. And then let's throw a little bit of reverb on here just to give it a little bit more life. From here, we just need to add some accenting sounds. And a big one for that would be just like some kind of pad or chords. Mm, we gotta EQ a lot of these frequencies out. Now I want to start sampling this melody as well because it's kind of it's going to come down to just sampling yourself a lot to make your melody sound kind of cool. Now again, I really want to just kind of keep adding some accent sounds around this, but mainly I'm going to kind of add in some some low end for the melody and just by, by layering some piano notes down, kind of like in the lower octaves. And this is going to really add some depth to what I've got going on. I want to cut out a lot of low end from the piano because I know it'll clash with an 808 if I add one in later. And I also kind of want to make it sit a little bit more in the background. So I'm just going to add a little bit of reverb to it. Now we can probably find some kind of cool sample just to throw in there as well. You can do this for like a texture or a vocal. I'm, I'm kind of feeling a bit more of like a, an ambient vocal. 
I don't think I need to say anything. Now the secret sauce, if you are using a vocal from Arcade or just a vocal in general, you want it to slide in there a lot nicer. You've got to EQ a ton of frequencies out. Just pick like a section you want. Like I only want the high end. I don't want super high end stuff. Yeah, that's just gonna add a little bit of texture to the vocal. Now I wanna make sure I don't really have any low end going on with this melody, because I wanna leave a bunch of space for my 808. And by the way, I've got a video actually talking about EQing and just kind of how to do it properly, especially for making room for your 808s. And you can check out that video up above. Now for the drums, what I want to do is I'm, I've got a bunch of triplet patterns going on, so I'm going to need to keep that in mind for my, my hi-hats. Same with my 808s, because the rhythm can't just be following like the two-step rhythm, like that typical, typical two-step bounce. I'm going to keep the 808 bounce pretty simple just starting out, and as I build everything else, I'm going to build the 808 pattern a lot more. But before we get there, I kind of want to get my hi-hat bounce down. <music> Now, the beautiful thing about hi-hats is you only need to get a two-bar pattern. Once you've got that down, you can copy it over. Find those beautiful rolls you just laid down. Move some stuff around, add some stuff in, and bam, you've got a whole new pattern. Let's keep it pretty simple. Like I said, all you need to do is just keep it simple, especially when you have a melody this good. You know, to get my, my 808 hitting a little bit more, I'm throwing a soft clipper on the 808, and then I'm going to just boost it here so it's going to clip in the master as well. I want to give my hi-hats a little bit more flavor too, so I'm going to throw a phaser on there, and I'm just going to turn down the mix knob over here. One of the great things too about once you've sampled your, your melody is you can just click right here and then press make unique. Now you've got a whole different thing that you can just kind of mess around with as you see fit. And these melodies, it sounds crazy when you just pitch something down an octave and then bring it back up. 